Just want to do a little video of uh, my 1954 Dodge M37 military truck. Uh, I bought this truck about uh, three and a half years ago. I bought it out of Indiana uh, over the internet and uh, it was blue when I bought it. Uh, it had the original army tires on it. Now I've, I've upgraded to uh, more modern tires. They're a lot less uh, noisy. And uh, just take you a walk around here of stuff I've done. Like I said, it used to be blue. Uh, it's got the winch on the front. It's got the locker uh, front end. Uh, it does the transfer case I had rebuilt at uh, Ottawa Drive Shaft and, uh, and Drivetrain. It was a cost of $1,500. The uh, transfer case was uh, still working, but it was very loose. The bearings and all that were shot. Uh, so they rebuilt that. Uh, I've added a, a battery box in the back um, and a uh, cargo mat. Like I said, uh, it's 318 Dodge runs like purrs like a kitten you can hear it no no problems with the engine uh whatsoever doesn't burn oil um drives good uh mind you with the original drivetrain the the differentials and the transfer case you are limited to uh 55 miles an hour max um and uh the gear whine is uh is audible it's best if you go on a long drive with this truck to wear ear earplugs um, you can drive it around town and uh, for uh, a couple of a couple hours, like at, at at city speeds, without without ear ear earphones. But uh, if you're on the highway for a long period of time, the gear wine will get to you. But uh, yeah, we just finished uh, cleaning it up, and uh, I'm going to list it for sale very shortly. Anyways, I'll take you for a little spin. My wife just reupholstered the uh, interior. It was a uh, plastic vinyl. It was really slippery and uncomfortable to sit on. So we've got new uh, foam and uh, she reupholstered it basically in this uh, tan color. It goes good with the green. Um, there's a fan for defrost. High and low. I guess at some point there was a CB in here, but it's not here anymore. It's got uh, power wipers, not the uh, air controlled wipers. It's got the headlight controls. Got the battery, fuel, oil pressure, water temperature, all good, good oil pressure. It's got the e-brake is the first lever. The two other levers there are the uh, front locker and the uh, low, low speed. This thing has got low first gear. Like if you pull that back, it'll pull the house. Anyways, uh, this is the interior. Step back a bit. It does have a, a modern uh, Firebird uh, steering column to get the electronics all to work in this properly at 12 volts. I believe it was six volts or 24 volts or it was different, but it's all 12 volt now. Anyways, that um, doing a GM uh, steering column makes things easier. It's got the defroster tube in here. This blows defrost. It's got your heater on the outside, heater motor. Air blows in from there. Anyways, let's go for a boot. It's not a rough riding truck, it's very uh, cushy. It's almost like a wet a waterbed. But as you can hear, the, gar the, the gear wind's starting as you get up to speed. But yeah, it's not a rough riding truck, it's very comfortable. Uh, the front windows uh, tilt up so that you have get, get a nice lot of air go in, in there. They tilt up, they'll go, this window will go completely straight up. That window only goes part way because of the windshield washer, uh, the windshield wiper. I don't know why that one that only goes up part way, it goes up to about like that. This one goes all the way up. Anyways, that's uh, that's what we're looking at right here. Gets a lot of thumbs up, a lot of, lot, of, lot of comments, a lot of people asking what it is. They don't know it's a Dodge, they think it's a Jeep. Uh, 
but yeah, that's it. Gets a lot of attention. Pretty wide, very wide stance. Get you a look at the back. Got the shovel kit and the pickaxe kit that comes with these. Is on there. That's what the back end looks like. Like I said, this thing in low will pull a house down. It's a uh, crazy, crazy low. Anyways, I've got a uh, little close by. I've got an old abandoned army base. So I might go up there and take some pictures because this since is a Cold War truck. It's a Cold War Army base. It was closed in 1971, so maybe we'll drive up there. They got a lot of old abandoned buildings and stuff. I'll head up there next. So we're at uh, Canadian Forces Base Foymont. It's been decommissioned since 1971. These are abandoned buildings, I guess uh, barracks. We're basically at the tallest point in the Ottawa Valley. It was a radar base back in the day. The officers' houses are re reconditioned and sold and people live in this little town. Cold War era place and a Cold War era truck. This building has a mess hall look to it. Probably some sort of a maintenance shop or something. That there is the Foymont Fire Department. That's actually active right now. That's where the fire trucks, volunteer firemen are parked. 